forces your transfer to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York, with a view of the woods nearby. Maximum security still applies, of course. You have reasonable access to books. Best of all, though, one week of the year, you get to leave the hospital and go here. Plum Island. Every day of that week, you may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour under SWAT team surveillance, of course. And there you have it. A copy of the Buffalo Bill case file. A copy of the senator's offer. This offer is non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Plum Island Animal Desert Research Center. Sounds charming. That's only part of the island. There's very, very nice beach. Turns nest there. There's beautiful. Turns, huh? If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us to quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though, about yourself. Quid pro quo. Yes or no. Yes or no, Clary. Poor little Catherine is waiting. Go ahead. What is your worst memory of childhood? The death of my father. Tell me about it and don't lie, or I will know. He was a town marshal, and one night he surprised two burglars coming out the back of the drugstore. They shot him. Was he killed outright? No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. My mother died when I was very young, so. My father had become the whole world to me. When he left me, I had nothing. I was 10 years old. You're very frank, Clarice. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. Quick pro quo, Doctor. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Yes. Big through the hips, roaming. They all were. What else? She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Was it a butterfly? Yes, a moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is change. Caterpillar into chrysalis or pupae. From fence into beauty. Our Billy wants to change to... There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Clever girl. You're so close to the way you are going to catch him. Do you realize that? No, tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? I don't imagine the answers on those second-rate shoes, Clarice. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. They had a ranch. Was it a cattle ranch? Sheep and horses. How long did you live there? Two months. I ran away. All right, Clarice, did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? No. He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. 
There are three major centers for transsexual surgery, Johns Hopkins, the University of Minnesota and Columbus Medical Center. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment in one or all of them and been rejected. Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. Our Gabby wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Very hates his own identity, you see, and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times more savage, more terrifying. 